Hi friends! Welcome back to my channel, or welcome if you are new. Sorry about the lighting, it is terrible. It is 9 o'clock at night, and it is Thursday night, and the kids are all in bed, and this is just like the perfect time to make this video. Hopefully. Um, I have a few minutes to get this done, so I'm hoping I'm able to get this done. Um, so, as some of you know, not everybody, um, we, um, we, my husband is military or just retired from the military, from the Marine Corps. And we just left Camp Pendleton, which was in Southern California. Um, we are now living in Dallas, Texas. Um, and I just wanted to, sh to tell you guys about an experience that I had with, um, not a moving company, but technically a moving company because they deal with moving. Um, so we did what was called a Diddy move. So D I T Y do it yourself move. Um, and we did that because let me, let me move you guys over. Is that better? Let's see. So I just messed everything up. Don't fall. Okay. Um, we did that for a couple of different reasons, but mainly because my husband knew he was getting to the end of his um, enlistment and he was getting ready to retire. He had about um, a year left on his contract and he decided he was going to do what was called the corporate fellowship program. And that was basically, I guess, based out of San Diego where he could have gotten a job in San Diego. And if he got the job in San Diego, then we would have had to stay in San Diego. But that was not our point. We were trying to come to Dallas and he was able to do what was called a remote fellowship program. So he was able to get a hold of Lockheed Martin here in Dallas and do a remote um, job like internship with them for three months. And fortunately, at the end of the three months, he got a job and we were able to move to Dallas. But backtrack just a little bit. When we found out that he was coming to Dallas, we ended up making a crazy decision and um, we moved out of our house in Southern California. We lived on base. Um, so we moved out of our house. We traded our Acadia for a truck and we bought a travel trailer, which is what we're in now. And we decided to put all of our belongings in storage and live out of the travel trailer while we were in transition from the military to this new job. So, um, fast forward until like three months, five months later, I think it was about five months. We spent three months here and then we spent two months back in Camp Hilton. So that was five months total, obviously a little bit longer. We've been in the camper for six months. Um, so, at that point, we were back at Camp Pendleton, and I realized that we had a storage unit that needed to be transferred from California to Dallas. And in order for us to get the best like return on investment type thing, we chose to do a Diddy move, which is the do it yourself. So I started doing some research and I was calling around to the different companies, the moving companies. There's U-Haul, there's Penske, there is, what else is there? Budget and there's probably a couple of more that I'm just not thinking about, but those are kind of the options that I looked into. And originally I had a U-Haul truck um, booked and then I started really looking into it and some of them do to military discounts and some of them don't, blah, blah, blah. Um, so anyways, I originally booked with U-Haul and then I went back and I started looking at it and I was like, hey, Penske also has trucks uh, <clears throat> and that might be a good option for us. And the crappy thing <laughs> was that we were in California and there's so many people leaving California right now that the trucks were ridiculously expensive to rent out of California. So when I booked the truck, the original price was over $3,000 just for the truck. And then we also had to get a U-Haul to go with it um, to um, hook up to the U-Haul to haul my, my husband's car. So after all of that was said and done, it was over $4,000, which was insane. <laughs> um, and then we were told by a friend of ours that if we had booked, um, in Yuma, which was about four hours away, that it was half the price. And so I was like, okay, we'll just deal with it. We're just going to book out of Yuma. We're going to drive the four hours to go pick up the truck and then hook up the U-Haul, drive it back, 
load all of our things from storage into the U-Haul and rest for that night. And then we were going to get on the road the next day. That was the plan. So, um, we ended up going with Penske. Um, I can't remember the reason, but I think it was Penske was a little bit cheaper than U-Haul. So I had booked out of, um, Yuma. And then I also pulled up a rate from Camp Pendleton to Dallas and it was still double the price. So I was like, I'm not doing that. Well, I guess I left the reservation like pending. So I had a customer service representative from Penske call me from Oceanside, California, and they were calling to con confirm my reservation. And I was like, well, actually I'm not going to use your location because you guys are charging $4,000 for us to rent from Oceanside, California to Mansfield, Texas. And, um, she said, Oh, well, how much is, how much are you getting it from Yuma for? And I said, 1500. And I was like, that's like literally less than half of what you guys are charging. And the lady goes, Oh, well we can ma match that price. I had no idea. I had no idea how competitive moving companies are. Um, when they think they're going to lose a sale. So, um, she pulled up my reservation and she said, okay, so you need a 26 foot. That's what we originally thought we needed. Um, a 26 foot truck, uh, Penske truck with a U-Haul. And I was like, yeah, that sounds great. So I ended up being able to call the Yuma location and cancel that truck. So we didn't have to drive the four hours to Yuma, fortunately. Um, so then I, um, I called back a couple of days later because I was trying to change the location of the return. So we originally were going to drop it off in Dallas. And then I was like, you know what, let's not go to this, the heart of Dallas because this was like a five day trip, really super busy. And, you know, I knew we would be exhausted at the end of this. So I called the back and said, okay, so I would like to pick it up in Oceanside and drop it off in Arlington, Texas. And she said, okay, no problem. We're actually going to credit your account another $200 because it's even cheaper. And um, I just wanted to say I am super, super impressed of Penske's customer service. Like I had no idea that they would be so accommodating. They would bend over backwards to match prices, that they would help us like all along the way. Like their customer service was amazing. All right, guys, it is the next day. The kids are in the car. We're headed up to the country, headed up to Oklahoma. But I didn't finish the video because life happened and I had to turn it off. <laughs> um, but I just wanted to say that Penske for us was just amazing. The customer service was wonderful. They were very accommodating. And not only did they give us the price for the Yuma location, they also included insurance which I didn't even add to the original poly the original price. The original price was, I believe, $1,700. And then if you added the insurance, it was an extra like $60, de depending on what you got, or up to like $150. Um, and then the car hauler um, was an additional $200. Ooh, so basically, basically the um, Oceanside location so um, credited us the $200 um, because we changed locations and they gave us free insurance and the car hauler for the same price, actually $200 less than what we were quoted from Yuma. So that was like a huge, like a huge customer service bonus from them. So I was just super impressed. Um, I think if we go back and do this again, we would probably recommend Penske. Um, and I'm sure you could do it probably with any company. Sorry, my husband's outside washing the car right now, if you hear noises. Um, but I'm sure there's other companies that would compare. But for me, just because Penske was very... stop uh, it. Because Penske was really accommodating and like they just went above and beyond what they could have done. Um, to really help us like manage this trip, which was, it was already stressful enough. So for them to call me, um, they called me two or three times to verify, to make sure that they had the correct truck in, in, in stock, um, on the grounds. They made sure that everything was hooked up correctly. Um, it was just a really, really good experience. So for me to recommend Penske, I would definitely give it two thumbs up. Um, I'm sure there's other companies that work, I don't know, maybe they work the same way, but for us, 
Penske had, had our money basically. Um, I was just super excited about the way that we were treated and um, they were just really accommodating, um, especially to military. Um, sorry, I'm saying um a lot, but I'm paying attention to like three different things going on. So you could probably call U-Haul and see if they do price comparisons as well. And they might, but with us, Pinsky just, they, they blew us out of the water. So that's who we went with. We ended up going with a 22 foot truck. And let me tell you, that thing was scary to drive at first. It was scary. It did not go more than 35 miles up the mountain, especially that I had my husband's car on the back. Um, but it was, it was a challenge and I made it through. So, um, yeah, I did not do much recording while we were on the road because I was very intimidated by the drive. It was a long, exhausting trip for me. So anyways, I just want to let you guys know that, you know, those moving companies out there are looking for your business and they will try their hardest to get your business. So if you're ever looking for a place to, you know, do your move, I would suggest Pinsky. If you guys can get the same type of deal with another company, I say go for it. But yeah, Pinsky was awesome. Anyways, I just wanted to kind of get, get on here and tell you guys about our experience and why I recommend Pinsky. Um, like I said, other companies might do the same thing, but Pinsky was definitely an A plus in my book. So anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I have more videos coming. I've been making videos. I just haven't been posting them. We've just been Oh my gosh, my head has been spinning lately. But um, don't forget to subscribe to, you know, see when I have new videos coming up. And uh, yeah, we'll talk to you next video. Just go up here. Thanks.